knowing the desire of Father God to feed us through his Holy Spirit on Jesus, the bread of life, let us confess where we have been remiss in this and ask for his strength and empowerment. As we do this, I will end each brief section with the words, Thank you, Jesus, bread of life, that you have had mercy on us. And then I will repeat it, and as best you can remember, invite you to say it out loud wherever you are with me. Generous and ever-giving Father God, we confess that we have often followed the world, feeding on things that do not last. We confess this to you, and we say, Thank you, Jesus, bread of life, that you have had mercy on us. Thank you, Jesus, bread of life, that you have had mercy on us. Heavenly Father, we confess that we haven't always seen ourselves through your eyes. We have seen ourselves through our failures, shortcomings, faults, and not through the life, death, resurrection, and empowerment of your Son, Jesus. We're sorry about this. Thank you, Jesus, bread of life, that you have had mercy on us. And together, thank you, Jesus, bread of life, that you have had mercy on us. Heavenly Father, we confess that we have often allowed others to feed us, often expecting them to spoon feed us, instead of taking responsibility for our own feeding as your disciples. We're sorry about this and we pray, thank you, Jesus, bread of life, that you have had mercy on us. And together, thank you, Jesus, bread of life, that you have had mercy on us. Amen. Indeed, <laughs> just as Jesus saw the needs in the crowd that day, so he sees your need this moment. He has had mercy on you. Together, we receive a spiritual hunger from Holy Spirit to go deeper into the life of Jesus so we may know our identity as sons and daughters and live securely in Father's love. Go in the peace and mercy and grace of Jesus, in the power of the Holy Spirit, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. <laughs>